Welcome to Explore Brockport, where we take a look at things and activities to do around the village of Brockport. My name's Anthony Arnone, local expert. With me today is Farmer Joe. Thanks for having me. I'm Farmer Joe. So, Farmer Joe, would you mind telling me a little bit about how you uh, started this farm? I know it's probably a long story about how someone goes into farming. Yes, actually, so it started, it, farming is a, a family tradition. We, I grew up on the farm next door to this plot where we are uh, originally that was the original farmstead. It was started by my grandfather and his brother. So I started mine in 2015. I do more of like the fresh market um, vegetables yeah. and then the evening entertainment here. Well, you left off the really interesting part, the fact you have a fright farm. How do you transition from just being the, your average farmer to someone who wants to then bring people onto their farm and scare them for fun? Earlier, when I was out in high school, I had uh, I had a friend who actually ran a haunted attraction at the oh, okay. fairgrounds. Yeah. I got in touch with him. I said, I'm starting my farm. I really want to do this. And I bought the remainder of the equipment off of him. So it was a awesome. bunch of panels and some yeah. props and stuff. And then from there, we started and it grew. How does one go about finding a ragtag bunch of people to scare <laughs> you know, a, a, the, the general population of Brockport, you don't probably just find like your average insane asylum breakout on the side of the road and recruit them. No, it, it's very hard because I want to have good quality scare actors for here on the farm. So they have to have people who can really develop a character, not just jump out and go, rah, they have to actually come up with something like, oh, okay. Wow. That was unexpected. <laughs> This is one of our, our actors here. Um, Not an insane know. asylum breakout then, correct? Well, no. he's questionable on that one. <laughs> he might be an insane asylum breakout. It, you, have to, you have to recruit the right help, so it, it's, it's always hard for us. We, and people will do it for a couple of years, and then they'll cycle out. And the other thing is, it's a really hard, because you're going nonstop for yeah. two and a half to four hours a night mm -hmm. and constantly having to scare people. That takes time to, yeah. to develop that. So how do you keep the farm and the fright attraction interesting each year? It's a long process actually. So I'm usually planning things out, trying to plan out a year ahead. So even mm -hmm. now I'm actually planning for potential next year plans and layouts. Mm -hmm. So my first, my first sketch in October is completely different than the final outlook. Okay. So it, it is, it's an evolving process as it goes. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the scheme that you're mentioning? Uh, are you writing things down, really plotting everything out? Some sections are very regimented and planned, especially on to get a really good scare. Mm -hmm. So you have to think about where the group where the group enters in and how they transition through the scene mm -hmm. and continue on. So because I want the I want the customers and the audience flowing mm -hmm. in a certain way so they can get an effective scare. You mentioned a really good scare. Is there any scare that pops out to you particular that really just is a good story or you haven't had any of your actors punched or oh yeah actually <laughs> so it's hard because that happens quite a bit quite a bit yes. like nightly weekly monthly. nightly weekly uh, <laughs> yeah so it depends on the crowd some sometimes you get sometimes you get the bur burly macho guy who yeah. just wants to who who wants to <laughs> defend his girlfriend and <laughs> he'll, he'll He'll just take a pop at you. I've had it happen to me. And Do you guys like think ahead of time, like maybe scare the big burly guy less? I, I tell my guys, you get however scare you can get, the maximum scare you can get. And if somebody is that way, I'm on top of it right away. And I have our security team, we get them right out. What's the raise look like for per punch? Like is the first punch a small raise? Like the eighth <laughs> punch is like, okay, like I'm feeling really it, bad. The you bonus get actually raise. goes off of the pee pants. Oh, okay. So <laughs> what's that? The spears. Do people pee their pants pretty often though? Oh yeah. Probably the best was a couple years ago we had our chainsaw guy happen to be chasing uh, a girl down the line and her, her friend was in the porta pot She went down in and sat down and they both <laughs> sat down on top of each other as he's chasing them with the chainsaw. <laughs> there you go. At least they so, got to where they needed to be. Yeah. Pee. It could have been significantly worse. Yes. Uh, <laughs> did we plan these? <laughs> I didn't sign up for this, for the record. Now I'm prepared. The first one I was like, the second one I'm like, okay, Farmer Joe planned these, and now I'm on alert. So, I'm, you, you can't control these asylum inmates. <laughs> Could you walk us through what a day at the farm looks like? If one of our students is gonna come out here uh, and kind of spend a day at Joe's farm, what can they expect to see? Yeah, so if they come to the corn maze uh, during during the day, there's 
there's a wonderful entertainment area where they can sit and just enjoy a nice warm bonfire. We sell cider, um, uh, snacks, drinks. There's the corn maze that they have un unlimited access to for the hours that we're open. And then as evening falls on the farm, uh, it transitions over to the Fright Farm, which is our, our haunted haunted attraction. So that's our, we have a separate haunted corn maze. Yeah. Um, and then that also has the bonfire. We have the movie playing, so you yeah. can sit around the fire and wa uh, watch some old horror movies. And then we have the quiet wagon ride around the farm, uh, which we have a lighted trail that you can explore the farm. I've always wondered how someone plans an actual corn maze. How do you possibly plan something out that that's large and make it interesting so it doesn't feel like people are just walking in circles the whole time, but they can actually feel some sort of progress while they're surrounded by corn that goes over their head. How I actually design is I come up with a design um, in my head and then I actually sketch it out in graph paper and then uh, map out the trails, the connecting trails. And then I actually go out there with a measuring wheel mm. and marking flags. And then I have to go out and cut some of the, some of the sections I actually have to cut by hand. And okay. I've, as I've gotten older, I've learned the value of using uh, mechanization. Yeah. So uh, I use a lawnmower now to cut it. What's it look like to, to actually research uh, either your corn maze or the, the haunting portion of this? Do you look at other, uh, farms for examples or do you go online yeah uh, it's actually a combination so there's um i do look at i do look at what other farms are doing other haunted attractions are doing and there's a big um haunt convention in st louis that we oh, go cool. to every year could you run me through some tips for visitors as they come here how they go about buying tickets for the attraction if they want to do the corn maze or the fright festival part of it Yes, uh, so you can purchase tickets online on our website at joesfamilyfarm.com or joesfrightfarm.com. We typically sell out the the middle section so per, and purchase your tickets as early as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and we sell them out in half hour blocks, 7 to 7.30, okay. 7.30 to 8, and so on throughout the night. What about for some of the other stuff on the farm, the corn maze and everything like that? Is that just open all day? Or? That, that's open from, the corn maze is open from 11 to 4, Saturdays and Sundays. Um, and then our farm stand is actually open if you just want to get um, self-service produce. That's open seven days a week. All right, Farmer Joe, now's your time to shine. Give me your sales pitch. Why should we come to J Joe's farm? All right, come down to Joe's Fright Farm every Friday and Saturday in October. We are the fifth best haunted attraction in New York State. We are the authentic premier haunted corn maze of Brockport, New York. Fifth best for now, soon to be first best. <laughs> All right, Farmer Joe, thanks for having us out here today. Uh, for everyone out there, make sure you come and get scared this season at Joe's Farm in Brockport, New York.